everyone and welcome to our part two of our quiz and today I'm just gonna be showing you the I'm gonna finish the quiz and um I uh, just gonna I'm just gonna sh show you how to finish it up and so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to answer one press and I'm just gonna paste this code I wrote and um so here you see that so if the first answer is pressed, this is the answer to the first one, and this is the first question, and we see it says zero here, it says zero here, and it goes on and on. <coughs> Sorry, and here, this is also going to be wrong, and, okay, and, uh, Last one is going to be five. So, so this is going to be question number equals five. And inside here, results dot text equals something in quotation marks and with check. So answer one is incorrect. So here it's going to be wrong. Okay, and um. We're just gonna copy and paste this code and paste it into these. But we're gonna change these up. Okay, so let's check answer two pressed. So if question number zero it is correct, so let's change this. And let's check number two. One plus one equals two. So this is also correct. Third one is gonna be correct. I think. Nope, third one's wrong. Okay, and um, four. Nope, wrong two. Okay, and the last one is correct. So let's change that. Okay, and let's go on to three. Okay, and uh, so number one is incorrect. Number two is also incorrect. Number three is correct. So um, I'm gonna change this. Sorry. Okay, and change this to wrong. And let's check number four. Uh huh. This is correct. Okay. Okay, and last one is also incorrect so we can leave it like that here oh darn i corrected the wrong one okay that should be good and we should change this one okay and let's go on to number five let's go on to button number four and for zero, that's incorrect, that's incorrect, that's incorrect, that's incorrect. So let's change this. Mm -hmm. 
number four is incorrect and number four is incorrect so um let's go and try to run okay so let's open up a simulator wait till it comes out okay so here let's say we oh so we still get this so What's the problem? I'm just gonna quit the simulator. So, oh, this is three here, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and uh, what we need to do is, we see this choose question function. We wanna call this when the view loads because we want a question to show up. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And by doing that, we go to view to load. We saw self dot choose question. And that will choose a question for us. Now let's run. Okay, say we get two plus zero, let's press this, it gives us correct. What is my name? Let's say I press Jeffrey, still correct. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Sometimes it gives you the same question. And I'm gonna say Beijing and it says correct. Chicago is wrong. Okay, and it gives us the same question. So, what's um, here's another problem. Why do why does this always say label in the view loads? Um, the problem is we are we have to do something. And here, here's a uh, um. Here it is. So we're gonna say result in view to load dot text equals an exclamation mark or in quotation marks nothing. Okay, that will make it blank. Now let's run again. Just gonna set it to amplify this. Okay, see it says nothing, and if we click on something, it shows up. And we want it to disappear after we click next. And so here, oops, I'm just gonna, oops, sorry. After this, I'm gonna say the same thing. Okay, and that should be good. So, and when we click here, we want the next button to hide because we want them to answer the question. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have the next button, now what do we have it? Okay, next button. Dot hidden equals true, which will hide the button. And, um, we click here any of these we'll say x y dot hit equals false <coughs> sorry and this will not this will uncover that it will uncover that the button Okay, and um, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually hide it when the view loads, so we're gonna say true. And this should be good. So let's open up the simulator. Should show up. Okay, so we get the two plus zero. Say press two, it gives us the next button. What is my name? Jeffrey, correct. Okay, so it gives us the same question, just answer it correct. Okay. What is the capital of China? Let's say I pick Chicago and give this the wrong answer. Okay, I'm gonna quit the simulator, guys. Okay, um, thank you guys for watching, and whoops, sorry. And I hope you see you guys and in our other videos. Bye bye.